Hey there, it's Gabe with API Nation. Hey, just wanted to do a quick update on this Mojo KV Core. Now that we've updated our mapping and it looks a little bit different here, I just kind of wanted to show you exactly how we would set this up. So pretty similar, you connect co uh, you connect KV Core, you connect Mojo, you're gonna go over here to your group filter and decide what the group is called that you want synced into KV Core. Uh, send to KV Core seems like a great example. So we're gonna choose the group that's in Mojo that's going to go into KV Core. You can also choose, do I want to overwrite the information in KV Core if they happen to already exist? If they don't already exist, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose do not overwrite information just in case and hit subscribe. So what we've done is we've created the workflow, but we have not yet activated it yet here. So once I hit this, it'll activate it, but I want to show you a couple things. First, you can see all this stuff came over. Send to KV Core is the group. It's going to KV Core, it's not overriding information. But there's a couple other options here. So there's a filter, this is new, and you can filter exactly who is coming through this sync. So let's say maybe you don't want to do it based on the group. Maybe you just want to say all, let's do everybody. Um, but then I want to filter on something else. Filter on something like maybe something I write in the note. So if I write note, contains KV Core, then anytime I write the word KV core in the note of a contact, they'll get synced into KV core. So I could do something like that. Um, or you could say, you know, anytime they have, uh, you know, a certain zip code, I want those people in KV core or a certain email. So all kinds of options there, but let's go back to our, our typical setup here. So in the KV core, cool. And then coming down here to mapping. So it used to be, you can see here's the original mapping where you kind of map it up left and right. And there's this, um, uh, a couple options here, but there's also the updated mapping. So this updated mapping has a couple cool features that allow you to do a few more powerful things. So for example, just the most basic thing is let's get a phone number in here. Okay, cool. So you'll just hit plus search for phone. And there's the phone number. So that's what it looks like to add a field. But there's other things you can do. For example, there's source. So I can add a field and have it listed as the source. So if I wanted to add a field like, you know, notes, and then just write mojo dialer into every note, I could do that. Or what I could actually do is I could write, uh, I could write a little piece of text here, like mojo dialer. And this is now a static piece of text and it's gonna come over with every contact that comes through. So you can see these little blue guys, these are dynamic fields or like merge fields that are pulling like the number or the state. But if I just write normal text, it just puts the normal text in there every time. So I can do that for source. I could do that for hashtag. So if I wanna do hashtag, you know, mojo dialer or hashtag seller or hashtag FSBO, whatever I wanna put in there. And then another cool thing here is uh, KV Core notes are now available. So I can actually go ahead and do the notes from um, Mojo going into KV Core. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you. That's what it looks like to use this mapping to send that stuff in. Um, and uh, it's pretty simple. You can either type, you can add a field to set it in, um, and uh, you can do more than one field. So if I wanted to do tags, um, let me show you what I mean by that. If I wanted to do more than one field, I could do, you know, hashtag first name. I don't know why you would do this, but hashtag first name. Do, do, do. And then you could also do, just keep adding more hashtags based on other things. Maybe hashtag zip code. Make sure to put a hashtag in there. Boop and so on. So you can put multiple fields into one field. You can just write static text to go into that field. And then you can also, um, you know, just choose a normal field here. So that's kind of what's going on. I think the big thing in the last video uh, was lead type, choosing seller or buyer. So what you would do here is just choose, you know, buyer, and then in the group filter, choose the buyer group. 
and just as you add them to the buyer group, they'll go into KV Core as buyers. As you add them to the seller group, they'll go into KV Core as sellers, and so on. So great. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. We'd love to answer them, and uh, we'll probably be creating a whole new video with all this updated information um, all together. And we'd love to get all the questions answered in a in a very near 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 video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.